Welcome to CodeSpider. In this video, we are going to discuss how to create an ASP.NET Core Web API project using command line and Visual Studio Code. Let's understand what is command line or CLI in .NET Core. The .NET command line interface is a cross-platform command line tool used for developing and performing the various development activities when developing .NET Core applications. That means as you know that the .NET Core application is cross-platform support so that you can create and develop the .NET Core application using command line using Visual Studio or using any editor. You can choose any editor and you can do the development of .NET Core. But you need to install the .NET Core SDK first. To install the .NET Core SDK, you may go through the Microsoft document site. So let's create a project of ASP.NET Core Web API using command line. To create a project using command line, in the run tab, type as cmd, open as run as administrator, to work on .NET Core, we must need the .NET Core SDK. In my system, I have already installed the .NET Core SDK. To check that, here we need to type as .NET. Then hit enter. You can see that the .NET is found in my system and also some .NET other command is so here. Let's see what the SDK is installed in my system. So let's type here .NET list of SDKs. You can see that there is four type of SDK is found in my system. One is 2.1, 2.2, 3.1 and the 3.1.400 is the latest version. Also to check all the command, we need to type here .NET then help. You can see that whenever I type in the .NET help, then, then all the .NET code support command is so here. So let's focus how to create ASP.NET Core Web API project using command line. Suppose in this location, I want to create my project. Currently, I am here on the D drive and on the folder name is .NET CLI. And you can see that on the command prompt, currently I am on C drive Windows System32. To move the D drive, we just type your D drive. Then we need to jump to .NET CLI folder. So we need to type as CD .NET CLI. So let's see how to create a ASP.NET OVP project using command line. To create a OVP project using command line, we need to type as .NET, then new, OVPI, then let's the project name is my OVPI code. Here we type as .NET new, OVPI, then my OVPI code. That means .NET is denoted as .NET code command, and new, because we want to create a project as a new, then OVPI, that means it create the project of OVPI project. Then our project name is my OVPI code, and hit enter. Now you can see a project is created in this location. To jump this path, we need to type here as cd, then the project name is my webfi core. Then let's check first, this project is build or not. So to build this project using command line, so we need to type as .NET build. You can see that now the build is succeeded. Then finally, we need to run this project. So to run the project, we need to type as .NET run. You can see that now the project is running. And mind that whenever the project is running on the command line argument, then it should be run in the Kestrel server. If you are new to the Kestrel server, then you please check our previous video. The video is shared on the description box, you can find there. So let's copy this path and run this application. Let's hit enter. You can see that in the command prompt we found that the server is listening in this port number. Whenever I type up localhost 5001, then it clearly shows that this localhost page can't be found. This is because in the properties class, in the launch setting.json, open with a notepad, you can see that it called the Kestrel server. And in the Kestrel server, the launch URL is by default is weather forecast. What is weather forecast? Weather forecast is the controller. In the controller, the API controller is set and the route should be controller. That means in the localhost 5000 word, we should type controller name. So let's type here as weather forecast. Hit enter. You can now see everything is working perfectly for now and the controller get method result is displayed here. So using this way, you can create a project using command line argument. Then let's understand how to create a project using Visual Studio Code. You can see that from this link you can download. Follow the URL code.visualstudio.com. For my case, I have already installed the Visual Studio code. And in this folder, we want to create our project. Open PowerShell window here. And here we need to type as code dot. Code dot is the short code to open the Visual Studio code. 
you can now see we are in the VS Code API folder. Go to the View tab and select the terminal window. In the terminal window, you can see that we are on the VS Code API. So here we need to type fetch .NET the new let's web API because we want to create a web API. Then let's my core API. That's it. Hit enter. You can see now the project has been created and let's build our project .NET build then we need to jump the mycore api folder so to do this here we need to type as cd then mycore api hit enter now you can see that we are on the core api folder let's build our project .NET build You can see that now it built perfectly to run this application we need to type here as dotnet then run hit enter you can see that we are getting error because of unable to start the kestrel server and the error is failed to bind the address https 5001 this address already in use that means whenever i run the application using command line argument then the browser will hit and in the 5001 it's showing as already in use change the port number you can also go through the launch setting of json and simply let's make as 5002 as well as let's make as 5003 here but i am showing that if this type of error is come then how to get rid of this so we need to type your dotnet build to build the project again and let's run the application with dotnet run you can see that now our port is running on localhost 5002 let's copy this and open the browser and in the browser window type here 5002 then we need to pass the controller name controller is weather forecast you can see this is working perfectly so using this way you can create the sp.net core OBPA project using vs code that's it in the video do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos thanks for watching